Well, we are getting closer and closer to this new baby's arrival, and truth be told, we don't have a place in the RV for her to sleep yet. But don't worry, we have a plan. When we started RVing in early 2018, our youngest, Nathan, was only eight months old. And at the time, we put a crib for him, which later converted into a toddler bed, in our mid-den room. We could do the same thing right away for this baby, but because our other two are getting older, they need some space to play, and it really works out to put all the toys in that mid-den room at the moment, we are not going to use that room right away, though we might later at some point. Our other two currently sleep in the loft, so instead, we have big plans for this closet. We've shown you this closet before in our RV tour, but a quick refresher. We have our stackable washer dryer on this side with our laundry basket, laundry supplies, extra coats, and shoes. If you come over here, quite a few clothes hung up. We have smaller clothing items here and folded clothing items in the back various odds and ends, and some other items in the floor space. So it practically is a walk-in closet and there's lots of room. So because we have all this stuff in here though, what is the plan and what does it have to do with baby? We've seen several others convert this space into essentially a baby room. And we're gonna try to do the same. So our plan is to go through, get rid of some things we don't need anymore, and then put seasonal items that we don't need into those vacuum seal bags under the bed. The idea is to put the things on the floor under the bed as well, clear out at least a couple of these shelves to have baby things and fit a mini crib. Don't worry, I've measured, it will fit. And that way, baby is right here with us. We don't have to go very far to take care of her. Let's show you how we're gonna renovate this thing. Now we've made a short jump into the future. I am now 34 weeks pregnant, so it has been a few weeks, I think, since we last updated you, but we have made some progress on the closet and getting things ready for baby. Now, I am feeling, truthfully, a little bit anxious about getting moving on this because, I mean, baby could really be here anytime. I'm hoping she makes it to full term and we still have six weeks or so left, but you never know. So today we want to make some progress. I managed to clear out quite a lot of floor space in the closet. We have a huge printer and I relocated it under the side of the bed here. I'm <laughs> kind of surprised it fit. It but barely it fit. And then all of our tech and camera gear is on my side of the bed on the floor over there. And now we really have enough room for the crib. Also, I moved quite a few things from this area here, relocated them to other places in the house, or got rid of things that we really didn't need anymore. So we basically have three shelf areas here that we can utilize now. And now it's time to lift up the bed and take out some of the things underneath and swap some things back in. We have quite a few vacuum sealed bags under here that have baby things in them. I'm gonna have to take a look at the bags and we're gonna get out the ones that we think we're gonna need right away. So newborn clothes, swaddles, baby blankets, things like that. All right, let's lift this bed. As you can see, lots of bags. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe, if I'm counting correctly. So let me find the ones I need. We're also gonna put a few things in while we've got that up. So I found three bags that we're going to empty and populate into the closet. And that means we have three bags that we can put clothes into from our closet of things we don't need on a daily basis. Now little Miss Clara is going to help me. We are going to sort the things we pulled out from under the bed into these containers, and what are you going to start with? Toys! Excellent! All right, let's do it. We kind of have the necessities. I guess until we get back to Denver and we can get the crib and get that set up. Three potentially overstuffed bags. It's but... not potentially, they are. And now it is time to vacuum them down.
These are all going under the bed and hopefully we won't have to get them out for a while. Now that we've significantly reduced the amount of clothes that we have in the closet, I'm going to do a little switcheroo where I'm going to put our clothes up here so they're accessible to us and these books down in the lower shelves in the back of the closet where they will be blocked by the crib but we rarely need to reference these. So we will see you next when we've purchased the crib and it goes in the closet and we put the final touches on baby's room. It's time for the finishing touches. Like I said, we moved all the clothes to the back shelves and a few here and we added some more baby things, most notably some diaper changing supplies and some pumping and nursing supplies. So we're pretty set here. And sweet Clara made this dream catcher for her little sister. We had an extra because <laughs> this one came missing a few parts. Uh, the little ear here Clara made because we were missing an ear. So they will have matching dream catchers. And the kids have made some decorations for baby. So we're really excited to be pretty much done with the exception of the crib. We just picked this up yesterday. We found a very gently used model of the Graco Travel Light Crib. So it is a smaller mini crib and it even came with an extra mattress for when baby is older and uses the lower stage, plus sheets, bedding. So we got a really good deal and now we're going to set that up. It's a good thing they didn't make this easy, because then it would just go too fast. Almost there. <sighs> Almost there. Now all we gotta do is magically get this to attach while it's in the sleeve. Did it work? Got it. <laughs> Alright, <All right>, good. <laughs> no problem. Easy, right? No. All right. What? Oh, you're gonna hate this. This is why you read instructions first. You know how difficult it was for you to get that mattress pad down in there and secure? Take it all out again. You need it for the top layer. Fasten it. We'll be back in a minute. Ta-da! Woohoo! <laughs> all right. I know it's a travel crib, but it's never coming out of there. Yeah. <laughs> of course it's a travel way. crib. We're traveling. <laughs> And there you have the renovation of our RV closet into a baby room. Other people sometimes do a whole lot more with painting and color coordinating and covering up anything unsightly. But as you can see, simple and straightforward does the trick as well. But we cannot wait to welcome her to this space, have her right here with us, make it easy and convenient and practical. And we can't wait to introduce her to you. So we will see you before too long when this little one joins us. <laughs>